So if you're learning to code and you feel like you're not making any progress, then I just wanna start by saying that you're not alone. When I started to learn to code, I thought that it was all about how fast I could pick things up, how fast I could retain things, how fast I could sort of learn new concepts. But the more and more that I go through this journey, the more I'm starting to realize uh, how that is just not the case. What really matters is patience. And I don't think this is actually emphasized enough when it comes to learning to code, when it comes to programming. And I think it should be talked about a lot more because in some cases, it can be, you know, patience can be the difference between someone actually giving up or someone making at it. So let's address patience in this video and how important it is along this coding journey. Now, a little personal story from me. Obviously, there are many complex concepts that I'm yet to learn and I'm sort of going through this process at the moment. But let me start with something so ridiculous that you might actually laugh at how simple this is. But this is exactly how patience has helped me uh, play a huge role in my programming journey. When I first started using JavaScript, and obviously for a lot of people that hit JavaScript, it's like this huge roadblock. But you know, for me specifically, for the life of me, I couldn't seem to understand one particular thing. And that was why functions needed to use parameters. Now, obviously looking back on this now, I feel really kind of stupid because it's a pretty basic thing, but I just couldn't get it, right? And so if you don't know what a parameter is, think about a parameter like a coffee pod and a function like a coffee machine. The parameter is what you pass through the coffee machine every single time you want a different style of coffee. You wouldn't create a brand new coffee machine, which is the function. You would just pass a different parameter through the function, which is a coffee machine, and then you would get other cappuccino, a latte, whatever it is, okay? That is basically the basic concepts of parameter. If you still don't understand, I encourage you to go ahead and look it up. But you know, this is a pretty basic concept in programming. And for some reason, I just couldn't get it. This concept just didn't click for me at all. And I just kept thinking, you know, if you have a function, why do you need to have a, a parameter? doesn't, you know, a function just do everything for you. Anyway, just crazy stuff that, you know, I'm thinking back on it now. It's just, it's just really funny how I thought like this, but I struggled with this for days and it, it really discouraged me. I kept asking myself, why can't I get this? I was using parameters in this course that I was, that I was using, but I always felt like I was just guessing when I was using them. I didn't really understand why they were there, how, how they worked, what the hell the point of them was. At one point, I seriously thought maybe I'm just not cut out for this. I can't even grasp a simple concept like this. I must just be a complete idiot and it's time for me to just give it up, to just pack it in. Why am I even bothering doing this? But in the back of my mind, I kept reminding myself just to be patient, keep at it, and it will make more sense. It will eventually make more sense. And of course, now it does. So much so that I can't even understand why I struggled with it in the first place. It's just so clear to me now, but before it just wasn't. And I realized that the problem wasn't so much that I couldn't code, it was that I needed time for my brain to connect the dots. I think this is where patience comes in. When things don't click, I imagine it to be like two sides of a, ma of a magnet sort of repelling each other. And then finally one side kind of turns around and suddenly they both, there's a connection. But for that connection to eventually happen, you have to have the patience to wait for it. And one of the best ways that I have found to develop patience is to really just look back on my progress. When I was struggling with functions, I already had learned the, the HTML and CSS and I was building small little websites and styling small little applications. But had you had asked me six months ago how to do any of that, I would have said, you know, I wasn't making any progress whatsoever because I had no idea how to do those sorts of things. But the truth of the matter is, I had made a lot of progress. You know, I just couldn't see it in the moment. So my message to you is that when you hit a roadblock, just remember that you are only stuck there because of all the progress that you made beforehand to get yourself to this point. You got to this point because of all the patience that you had leading up to it. And this is just another stage of the journey, one that with patience, you will eventually look back on and you'll wonder, you know, how it ever felt so difficult in the first place. The problem is, I think, is that when you're learning to code, it's pretty easy to compare yourself to others. You go online, you see people solving these impossible leak code problems, you know, they're building these insane projects or they're becoming software engineers in like X amount of months. Meanwhile, you know, you're sitting over here struggling to understand <laughs> why a function needs a parameter. But what I'm trying to say is just have patience. Patience equals progress. And progress isn't about what others are doing, it's about you and what you are doing. Where were you a week ago? Where were you two months ago? 
six months ago, a year ago. Think about all the things that you can do now that you couldn't do back then. That is growth. That's patience at work. So when you are thinking to yourself, I'm so stupid, why don't I understand this? Just stop and ask yourself, how did I get to this point in the first place? Compare where you are now to where you started. Your past self wouldn't have even imagined about solving the problems, tackling the things, you know, building the things that you're working on today. So that's progress. Progress through consistency, and patience. So when you inevitably hit that next roadblock, which is gonna happen pretty soon, don't let it convince you that you are not capable. Remind yourself how far you've come already. And the thing that feels impossible now will one day feel like second nature, just like how functions and parameters do for me today. Thanks so much for watching guys. If this resonated with you in any way, I'd love to hear about it in the comments, but that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.